We're expecting a great new, uh, new product, an exciting product, and a technologically advanced product. CEO of Tesla Motors, Elon Musk, revealed the dual-engine chassis of the new electric sedan, Model D. According to statistics on Tesla's Motors website, it's the most powerful car ever with autopilot. You can actually summon the car and the car will come to wherever you are. And it'll, it'll, it'll use the ultrasonic sensors, kind of like an insect antenna, um, because it can, it can detect even small soft objects with the, the, ultras, with, with the ultrasonics. According to Musk, this new model will have two motors, be all-wheel drive, and go from 0 to 60 in 3.2 seconds. I'm looking for a little bit of whiplash, and I think that's what's going to be given with this car. After the launch, guests were invited to test drive the model and experience the real deal. It's a safe car. It reads the signs on the road. It reads the lines on the road. It can even detect animals on the road. And when we came back, we were on autopilot all the way back. Having this national launch in Hawthorne helps put the city on the map and helps promote the welcoming of new businesses. It's good to be around you know, a city that wants new businesses and is pro-airport, and um, so that's encouraging to you know, establish a business here. Officer Pedro Nambo of Hawthorne PD can normally be found at the station or patrolling the streets, but on June 12th he traveled on foot for the law enforcement torch run as a part of the opening ceremony at the Special Olympics Southern California. I've always been a runner and to combine that with my career and my profession, I mean it's, it's a dream come true for me. This torch has been traveling throughout Southern California and will now travel with Hawthorne PD on the three mile trip up to Lawndale where it will be transferred over to the South LA Sheriff's Department team. The torch run consists of 4,000 law enforcement officers serving as guardians of the flame over the course of the 1,500 mile run, all leading to California State University Long Beach, where the Southern California Special Olympics Games were hosted. This year, uh, we've raised over $1.4 million uh, through law enforcement torch run uh, portfolio uh, fundraisers. Um, it's a huge impact on our portfolio overall and uh, makes a big impact on all of our athletes across our footprint. With the Southern California Special Olympic Games complete, several of the regional athletes will compete in the Special Olympics World Summer Games, which are hosted in Los Angeles in late July. Hawthorne will serve as a host town in the days prior to the World Games. This is Kelly Moody, HCTV. Flight's Craft Beer and Sports Grill has officially opened its doors for business. Hey, welcome to Flight's. It's always a wonderful feeling to know that Hawthorne is growing we're headed in the right direction through not only the economic developments in the city, but just like this here today, Flights, Sports Grill and Bar. Flights was, a, was designed to be a sports bar, but to lead with our food. It's important that we didn't have bar food, that we had really quality food. Flights menu offers a variety of delicious food. I recommend the pulled pork sliders and the grilled cheese and even the uh, potato chip for grape. The grilled cheese is phenomenal. It's easy, but it's a Beverly Hills kind of grilled cheese sandwich that I fell in love with in Beverly Hills at Nick's restaurant, and I brought it here. Along with a large selection of food, Flights also offers 40 beers on tap and 10 others in bottles. It looks really good in here, and the fact that Hawthorne has a craft brewery spot is actually pretty cool. The paneling is beautiful. It is, uh, it, it, it's lined with uh, television screens so that people can watch their favorite sports games. It's got beautiful flooring. It's got craft beer of the residents who enjoy drinking craft beer, have wonderful choices. Yeah. Yeah. Naming this place was no easy task. As owner Jerry Jamgochian says, he put much thought into it. It was actually going to be called Jammers after me and then I thought about wait a second why would I do jammers when flights is what a flight of beer is right and more importantly we have aerospace all around us so I just threw away the jammer signs and brought up the flight signs and it, it's the right thing to do so that's what I did. Food items have also landed in perfectly as they were named thinking about aerospace. We named stuff on our menu for SpaceX, for uh, McDonnell Douglas, for Northrop and these guys are coming in they kind of expect it as their place. Hawthorne continues to bring in more businesses and like Jem Gochian says, this city is the gem of the South Bay. The food's tasty, the beer's awesome and I'd come back for sure. Mr. Jem Gochian says he hopes to be here for a long time. For HCTV, 
I'm Jennifer Murillo.